Using LUTs is a great way to speed up your editing workflow. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can import and properly use LUTs inside Adobe Premiere Pro. And I'm gonna start right now. So firstly, what is a LUT? Well, a LUT stands for Look Up Table. And technically, it's nothing more than a large selection of numbers that remaps the image's value to change the look of the image. Think of it like a preset or a filter that you apply to a photo, but you're just simply applying it to a video. Now, what's really nice is the Premiere Pro's got a bunch of free ones available, but you can also buy them as well. I sell some on my website, and I'm sure there's a bunch of free ones also available online that you can use. You can, of course, also make your own if that's something you're interested in. So, What's really nice is it basically allows you to color grade all your video, creating a consistent look. But the problem is I see a lot of filmmakers starting out applying it to every single clip. Firstly, that will take ages, but you can also add a bunch of inconsistencies throughout your video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use adjustment layers to apply a LUT, firstly, a lot more quickly, but also a lot more consistently. So what I've done is I've just made a simple timeline with four individual clips. Now what we want to do is basically apply a LUT to every single one of these videos. Firstly, because we want to color grade it, but secondly, because it was filmed in log. And log basically is a unsaturated flat image that basically allows you to be a little more creatively with color grading. Firstly, what we're gonna do is go to our media browser. You can see in the top left-hand corner where all your files are saved. What we're gonna do is go down to this little icon here, which is called new item icon. And then we're gonna do is go drop down to where you can see it says adjustment layer. Making sure your adjustment layer is the right width and height, we're gonna go ahead and click OK. What we also wanna do is right click on that layer and you want to go ahead and rename it. I'm just going to go ahead and rename it color grading, just so I know that every time I use it, it is for color grading. And then what I'm gonna do is drag and drop that over my timeline, making it the same length as my timeline, as you can see. Now with that selected, make sure you haven't got your clip selected, you've got your adjustment layer selected. What we're gonna do is go up to Lumetri Color. What we're gonna do is drop down to where you can see it says Creative, and underneath that, you can see where it says Look. If you click on that, these are where all of your LUTs are saved. And in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and use green and orange as our LUT. And as you can see, it has applied it to every single one of my clips. Now obviously, it's a little bit dark, so what we can do is go into our Creative folder, drop out of that, go to where it says basic corrections, and this is where we controls our color as well as our light. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my saturation here. I'm gonna increase the saturation by about 130. Then I'm gonna go ahead and brighten my exposure. I'm gonna increase the contrast slightly, bring up the whites, slightly bring down those blacks, and then I'm gonna go add 10% value to the whites and minus 10% value in the blacks. Now that's really quick, but as you can see, it has created this really cool LUT. Now, I'll probably, what I need to do is change the exposure slightly in some of these clips. But as you can see, it's done a really quick and easy job to basically apply a LUT to a selection of clips. And as you can see, it is that simple. And this is how I use LUTs. Don't apply them individually to every single clip. That will take ages. Make sure you go ahead and use an adjustment layer and it makes it so much quicker to apply as well as it makes it a lot more consistent, which is really important if you're making a video.